Oh my god, wait, what? Hello Clover, Zoe here. I wanted to let you know that I just had Lila, a beautiful baby girl. <gasps> wait. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Sims in Bloom series. In the last episode we had Posey's birthday and Riley's birthday and in today's episode it is actually Clover's birthday I'm pretty sure. Yeah so she has zero days until she ages up which means her birthday is technically today but since it is like 12 a.m. 1 a.m. we'll celebrate in the morning when everyone gets up. Um, Basically in the last episode I felt really good that we sort of resolved all of our relationship issues with Clover and Anahi and everything and I think I am going to get Anahi to move out with Zoe at some point in this episode especially because she is oh crap she's in the third trimester now with that one really quickly I feel like she wasn't even pregnant for a day huh <laughs> maybe because she didn't do a pregnancy test like I thought it had been a day less than it actually was, I'm not sure. Um, but Bosi basically aged up into a teenager. Thank you all so, so much for all the lovely comments about her appearance, both on my Twitter and on the YouTube comments as well. I'm really glad you like her. I feel like she fits the aesthetic of what I was going for perfectly. And I feel like the way she looks at the moment is still like, still cutesy, kind of like Clover, which she would obviously grow up and be influenced by, but she does definitely have a bit of her own style as well. And speaking of Posey, I have gone ahead and actually popped in a little um, tree house for her. It kind of like looks really kind of ugly, um, but I wanted it to be in the tree. So that's just what we're going to have to deal with. It's basically just a square because we didn't really have that much room, but I figured this could be a little bit of like a hangout. I put a workbench up here because she's obviously going to have to get her, I think, handiness skill up. I don't know, but she's going to have to do some like making stuff. So I think we'll start off with a workbench and then eventually we'll transition to like the maker things from like the eco living pack or eco lifestyle whatever it's called um and put that in here instead but i thought it could be a little cute hangout for her and riley especially now that teenagers they probably don't want clover like you know hanging out all in their business as well but yeah that's basically where we're at at the moment um i if you guys don't follow me on twitter you wouldn't have seen this but i generally post everything that is not in the series on my twitter so there's like photos from behind the scenes you guys would have already seen posey's appearance before the last episode came out if you follow me on my twitter and i also posted saying that i like to give my sims their own zodiac signs because it helps me like fill their personality or how they would react in certain situations since I since sometimes it's a little bit hard for them to do it for themselves like you know obviously the whole situation between Clover and Anahi and Anahi was like pretty chill about it <laughs> and that was just the way I thought she'd react because of the zodiac sign I decided to assign her um and also we used to have them in the sims 3 and the sims 2 and everything and I really really miss it so basically that's what I generally do however I had a thought and I had a search and there's actually a mod someone has made to be able to give your sims and the sims for zodiac signs. I think it is like a hidden trait that you can assign a sim so I don't know if they can get it randomly um, but basically they'll then act certain ways around other sims depending if they're like compatible and romance will be harder if they're like not compatible etc 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 so I downloaded that mod I'm gonna give it a go today and I think if it's gonna affect the relationships too much I will take it back out but I really really wanted to have a go and see if it was gonna work so we'll start with Clover I think what we just need to do is um actually go into cheat sim info and and then add a trait I think think remove trait blah, blah blah change personality okay yeah I think we're gonna have to go into add a trait um I've got lots of random traits so I'm just gonna I think it's an alphabetical order so I'm just gonna scroll down but basically <laughs> um Clover is a Taurus I decided that she would be a Taurus because she's pretty stubborn and a bit headstrong and she's a little bit self-centered but like she has she's such a loyal person and she has like the best heart on her I know I say she's loyal right after she sort of like cheated on her girlfriend but like she's so loyal to like all of her friends and she wants the best for them so I made her Taurus and also her generation when I saw it um I literally was like oh my god that's me like she loves gaming she's like introverted she loves cats like it's just me and I'm a Taurus so so a typical Taurus is strong-willed and determined. That can often mean determined to have a good time. So we'll give that one to her. And has it then, where am I looking? <gasps> yeah, okay. So she has that now from the like reward store, but I've just added it. Okay, and I'm gonna give Anahi, <laughs> 
her one as well while she's still in the house. So Anahi is actually an Aquarius. <laughs> I basically decided all of this from the get go. So you guys are just going to find out about them. I don't know. Maybe you guys can decide if you like them more or like them less now. Um, so we'll have to add a trait and Aquarius should be at the top because it starts with A. Okay. Friendly and amusing. Aquarius is excellent companions being well balanced on each on other areas. Wait. Being well balanced in other areas helps to make them the most agreeable sign, which is true. I know he was very, very like forgiving to Clover. That's generally Aquarius's. They're quite forgiving and they are loyal. They're a little bit like distant at times and not the best at communication. <laughs> um, I know quite a lot of Aquarius's and I love my, I love a good Aquarius. So I thought it definitely fit Anahi because she just, yeah, she's just summed up. She's like such a good person. Um, we'll replace that toilet and we'll have to give Posey and Riley their ones as well. So Posey, you're going to have to get up lovely and we're going to add yours on. So Posey is a cancer. There is nothing extreme about cancers. They are very balanced. They can also be very changeable, which can be good or bad depending on the situation. Every cancer I've met is always like super soft and like headstrong and they know what they want and they're very determined. And I feel like that fits Posey, especially as she's like kind of like a perfectionist in a sense. I don't know. I, and you know she's like a soft baby she would never have a go at anyone which I think is going to mean that Riley is going to have to be compatible with a cancer <laughs> so we're going to make him we're going to make him a Virgo modest and shy introverted Virgos take pride in their I don't know what that word says practical approach to life unfortunately these same traits can result in a very fussy individual now um, I think that, so when I had a look, cancers are generally compatible with like Pisces and Virgos, etc. And I thought Virgo fit because every single Virgo I've met is like kind of really sarcastic and goofy. And I feel like that's going to fit him, especially because she has a massive crush on him. And I think it's going to be one of those things where he is always like friend zoned her, senior is a friend, they grew up together and she's starting to develop these feelings now, but he's not going to like understand that she has these feelings because he's a bit of a goofball and he thinks like he's just gonna mess with her but then eventually he's gonna see her soft side and is like oh you know fall in love with her and all of that but I want to see how these guys interact now now that I've give them, given them these new signs yeah so I can't really see that anything's developed so far however we'll keep an eye on it and see how we go these two are having a bit of a chat which is good because I want them to sort of build their friendship back up um but we'll basically just keep an eye on it and see how things go I'm hoping it's not a broken mod and it still works <laughs> especially with all the changes to like the sims game with neighborhood stories and everything and I've also got all the mods in my game so I'm hoping we'll still get like um a little moodlet or something but we'll have to wait and see Posey is upstairs she's a bit sad about the pet being She's mourning, um, I think, Spree up here, and she's also feeling flirty <laughs> because of Riley. I think what we're going to do is actually resume knitting our whatever we're knitting at the moment, and then we'll probably make him something as well. Um, yeah, nothing's really going on at the moment. I think what I'm going to do is actually send Clover into the vet clinic today um, to try and build up her vet skill a little bit because now that Posey is a teenager I do want to start working on her skills as well which means Clover's gonna have to probably get a little bit of a move on not that we're gonna wrap up with her anytime soon she probably does have about like 10 parts left um, in her generation because I want to give her as much as I gave Daisy um, but she may have to finish a little bit sooner depending when Posey ages up and when we decide we want to move on but because of that I do need to start getting a move on with her skills as well I hope you guys can understand that of course and that's why we're here we're here to do the challenge so <laughs> that's what we'll have to do so um why don't we actually remind ourselves of what we have to complete in Clover's generation all right so for generation two buttercup um, we need to complete our aspiration friend of the animals. I think we're actually on the last part of that one. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, we have to complete the vet career. I don't know how we're supposed to do that because it's not like a real career. I'm assuming we might need to get like five stars or we just need to like max the skill. I don't 
really understand how you like complete the career but we'll keep working on it we'll try our best um and we need to complete the skills the we need to complete the vet skill which we're level six on we need to complete the programming skill which we're also level six on and we need to complete the video gaming skill which we have done um and then obviously what we needed to do for this challenge is to enter a video game tournament at least once a week from when you're a teen we have been doing that we have to earn money by owning and running a vet clinic we have kind of been doing that always own at least two cats yes never get into a relationship or marry but you can attempt a date for fun but it never works out yes we did attempt a date didn't work out now we're not gonna try again so that <laughs> that bit's done as well um we adopted one child i know some people said like posy doesn't count but it's she's got she does count like <laughs> this is like my series i know like maybe officially with the rules it might not count but we took her in and we did like adopt her so she's definitely like still counting like i don't know you guys can make the call if you think i failed the challenge or not because of that but it's this is for entertainment like i'm just gonna say it counts um we have and then the, obviously uh, we had the option to complete the feather collection and to gain the techie lifestyle and i'm pretty sure we did com we did gain the techie lifestyle in the last part and actually speaking of feathers we actually picked some up this morning so i'll get clover to quickly open this now okay um why are you thinking about babies no all right so she's gotten some more feathers i don't know if that means we've completed our feather collection or not i think we'd get a dun -dun 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 if we completed it but i'll have a look yeah we still have one more to get so we'll have to keep looking i'll just double check outside that there is not any more hanging around doesn't look like it so i guess we'll wait and see the cats can actually come and explore the bush so i'll get them to do that as well <gasps> oh Posey's off to her first day of school. I don't think she did her homework. Oh no, she, it's over here. Did you complete it? Ah, oh, she half completed it. That's okay. Have a good day at school, Posey. <laughs> I'll get her to study hard since she's not really going to be making any friends. And Clover, if you are going to just sit on the computer and play video games, I think you can probably enter a tournament. Okay, Clover's in her video game tournament now. When she finishes this, I am going to open the vet clinic for the day. Oh, I forgot about these photos. We really haven't taken that many photos, have we, this gen? We might need to actually do that so I can put some up on the walls because she's only got pictures of people from the last gen. That's so sad. Oh, I miss Daffodil sometimes. <laughs> Poor Clovies. Oh no! Poppy's passed away! Aww. <laughs> I was thinking about inviting her over today, but that's so sad. I mean, we knew it was coming, she's getting old, but still sad. And now he's in the treehouse, like, dancing to rock music or something. What? What is she doing? This fits her vibe so freaking hard, man. <laughs> Great tunes from listening to metal. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. All right, so she's finished up at her tournament. Um, She didn't win and we wasted half the day, so that feels like a bit of a waste. I am going to get her to head into the clinic now, though, just for a few hours. Okay, so we've arrived at the clinic. I'm going to basically open up straight away so we don't waste any more time. Um, it looks like Emmy has had her baby that she was pregnant with in the last part. So we'll come and greet her. I don't know why she hasn't slept or had food. I really, <laughs> I really hope she, really hope she didn't just have her baby. We'll give her a promotion. Hopefully she'll work a little bit harder. Um, I think I'm going to get Clover today to come in and craft some treats. I want to do a wellness treat that we can stock the fridge with. Hopefully that means Emmy will just come inside and start treating these pets. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I could, so yeah, she's greeting the pet. That's great. So we can just focus on our own thing today. And then if it gets a bit busy, we can actually come out and help because we have two tables. Um, <laughs> shout out to Bagley. I was watching your series. And when I was in the vet last, I was just doing everything because um, Emmy wasn't doing anything. But when I saw you just like leave Bailey to do her own thing, I was like, oh, she will take initiative. She just takes a little bit longer. So um, that yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> We'll actually come and greet this patient as well. Oh, looks like she's finished already. Did you give them any treatment? Oh, okay. So we're going to examine Turtle over here. Coming up. He has got icy cold fur. Oh, what's happening? Procedures already in progress. Why are you sad from... Oh, she's sad from losing the video game tournament. Hello. Okay, let's try this again. So we'll have to do a exam on the temperature because this cat's freezing and also on the fur because it's blue. 
Okay, I don't know what's happening. I don't think we even figured that out. Clover, goddamn. Emmy's doing a better job than us. Oh, she's still working on the first patient too. Oh, there's other people here waiting. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. What is happening? Why won't the cat stay up here? <laughs> Test the ears. Listen to the heart. Go. Calm the patient down. Soothe the pet. Clover literally chill, bro. <sighs> Guys, what the hell? I swear to God. Oh, she's onto her second pet. Thank God. Please just... Okay, whatever. I'm not dealing with that cat. <laughs> I already have a patient. Oh my God. Clover, stop crying. This is so annoying. I'm closing stress level oh yeah because that was oh jesus whatever let's open back up everyone can leave and we'll have new people come in that's i why did that glitch out so bad guys what the hell Rosie's just like knitting on the couch having a good time hey okay hon make sure you get your homework done as well oh it's a friday you can do it on the weekend she's just hanging out here do you want to see if riley wants to come around so let's try this again with a different pet we know they have fleas Stop crying over the dog. Okay, she's actually doing something this time, which is great. See, this cat's just hanging out. I feel like the cat's broken. Why would you be touching the dog? It's got like fleas dropping off it. <sighs> okay, for our inspection, listen to the heart. Okay, now we can actually give it treatment this time. Yay, okay, we leveled up to level seven, thank God. Great job. Okay, we can build the owner. This guy's come a few times. Why are you so intense? She's having a mood swing. All right, it is, it's really freaking late. Like we didn't do anything at the vet today, but it's really late, so I am gonna close. We lost money, but that's all right. It's fine. It's okay. All right then, let's head home. Posey. I have to go have some cake for Clover's birthday <laughs> today. I was hoping to get home earlier to celebrate, but I guess we'll be just having cake with the two of us. Okay, we're back home. I will get Posey to make Clover a cake as a nice gesture. So why don't we come and work on our cooking skill a little bit, Posey? This will be the first thing you ever made. I'll just get her to make the white cake as it seems the easiest. She's feeling pretty enraged at the moment, which is fair. She's had a tough day. It was her first day of like high school. <laughs> Look at her go. And she has a mood swing. Cloves, why don't we come and replace this, please? Clove is actually feeling good. She's doing more video gaming upstairs. I'm sorry, but you need to work on your programming instead. So why don't you continue your side job since you're in a focused mood? And it looks like we will probably have Anahi go into labor <laughs> really, really soon. So I think I'll move her out before that happens. Right after Clover has some cake, we'll try and move her out. So we have some more space in our house and we'll move her in with Zoe, which will be good for her. All right, Posey's finished making the cake. Hopefully she pops it down before people eat it. Where did it go? Oh my God, look how bad that looks. <laughs> That's all right. Come and put some birthday candles on. <gasps> before she, before you age up, quickly. Okay, we're at time to blow out your candles. Oh, I know she's in so much pain, but. Let's go, Clover. Happy birthday, Clover. She's gonna turn into an adult. <gasps> Oh, how fast time has gone. Yay! Clover aged up, adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crisis is a wait. We've already had that. <laughs> the perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Yeah, well, fair. Um, I don't know if I want to eat this cake, but meh. All right, and that also means I'm going to get Anahi to actually move out. So we're going to get her to split from the household and move. Select another household in Mount Komorebi. Um, we'll pop her in this household with Zoe and with Penelope. And we'll give her, like, most of her money back. Yeah, we'll keep, like, 17 because obviously she's been, like, living off our income. And we we had about, like, 15 when she moved in. So she's got a little bit, little bit less than she had. However, I think it's fair, especially because she's, like, an NPC. So, meh. Oh, we're going to go with her. <laughs> Here we are, we've arrived at Zoe's house. Zoe is pregnant. <gasps> what? You guys having each other's babies? That's so cute, oh my gosh. Why, you better not be pregnant too. Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> 
Um, I am gonna get these guys to just get engaged, so hopefully they, like, stay together. So we'll come over and propose to her. Um, and yeah, they're gonna have kids, so we probably need to actually put another bedroom in this house or something. Maybe we'll move- nah. Look, they're getting proposed. They're gonna have a marriage. Why are you pouring salt on us? I think Penelope's into witchcraft and that must mean something. Aw, cute! Good for them. I'll give them some bassinets. <laughs> Can't believe they're both pregnant. That's so weird, dude. Alright, so I've added two bassinets into this room. I'm also gonna just make Pel Penelope move out. I don't think it's like fair that I have to kick her out, but this household's about to get twice twice as big so we're just going to remove her from the family and hopefully she'll just move into her own place eventually she'll still be free in the world to do her own thing but now these two Anahi and Zoe are going to be together which is cute and I'm going to go into manage worlds and head back to our place okay we're back at our house now I think it's time for these guys to all go to bed and that means Clover is now officially allowed back in her own bed I'm also going to give Posey's room a little bit of an updated appearance by these guys sleep so I'll probably check back in in the morning when everyone's up all right so I've had to give Posey like this bed because there was literally no other purple bed that I owned <laughs> it's got one purple cushion that should be good enough um but I've updated her room so it's a little bit more teen agery a little bit more nitty she's gonna focus on knitting more as a teenager and then f fabrication more as a young adult so so yeah we'll leave it at, at that for now all right both these ladies are off to bed now and I'll catch you guys in the morning all right it's eight o'clock in the morning Clover's up she really needs to use the bathroom Please go ahead. Um, I'm going to get her to quickly feed the cats and then make some breakfast for herself and Posey before we even get started um, for today. Oh, and now he's let herself over. She must be basically in labor at this point. <laughs> we'll ask for an invitation for her wedding now that she's engaged. Clover's going to tell her congratulations for getting engaged to Zoe and she's gonna see if she can get an invite to their wedding. Prezi is up in her treehouse for the first time. I kind of wanted her to craft something just to sort of you know get in the mood for it. I don't actually think she needs a handiness skill for anything however I just think it's you know something that's going to get her started into her career so she can work on it a little bit uh, we also have to do some like candle making and stuff as well so i think i might get her like a candle making thing to replace this maybe in the next like day or two i just want her to have a little bit of a mess around with it why is she shiny oh is it because she's inspired clover's eating her pancakes inside i'll get her to brush her teeth um i think i'm gonna just go to the vet clinic today i know it's a saturday and we could be doing some stuff with posy however i do really need to work on our skill a little bit as well yay two out of eight that's great okay let's head into the vet clinic this morning okay we've arrived at the vet clinic let's open up this morning put our uniform on first thing all right, Emmy's here. I think what we're going to do is pay for some brief training. You know, she's still a little bit slow, so hopefully she'll get a little bit better with some training. And we're going to go and craft some wellness treats like we started the other day. Clover's over here making some wellness treats today, which is really exciting. She's feeling way better today than she did last time. So hopefully today we'll actually get some improvement and <laughs> not waste our money. Want to do karaoke? I would, but we, we're going to say no because we're at work. Okay, did we get some? I think we did. All right, well, let's come over and open that and we'll put maybe like five of these in here. Cool. Yay. Clover, come say hi to this cat. Go greet this patient, please. Okay, let's check our temperature today and we'll listen to the heart and do a fur inspection. I think she's actually coming over and doing something now, which is great. Yay! We right we know right off the bat what's wrong with this patient, so we can give them some treatment. Yay! Good job. Who? What? Hello? Why is the <laughs> flower bunny? Go for it. Go for a date. Cool. Okay, we're on to our next one. Ooh, that was pretty good. <laughs> I think something's wrong with his ears. Healthy cuteness levels? Oh my gosh. I think he's healthy. He will just give him a preventative shot. Oh, he's too scared for it. We'll have to calm him. It's okay. 
Great job. And we'll give him a preventative shot. And I think we actually moved up to three stars, which is good. Oh, look at this little doggy pickles. Did they, yep, cool, they paid us. There's more kittens coming in. Let's come and greet pockets. It's getting a bit late, so I think I'm going to disallow new customers. And we'll just do it with whatever's left. All right, Clover's doing the little things she needs on this kitty now. <laughs> Cool. We know right away what's wrong with this one. We've treated a cat just like this before. Let's give it some treatment. Great job. We'll let Emmy finish doing what she's doing over here. And while we're doing that, we're actually going to come and do some lab work. I wonder what we can, if we can do anything else. Are you waiting? <laughs> Clover's now crafting some... Um, I think like surgery things to calm pets down when they have surgery. So that's what we're doing at the moment. We are sort of working late, but um, we're going to close the vet clinic anyway. So growth opportunities is stress. Try calming a pet. We have good quality of servants and the ambience could be better as well. But overall, we made more money today than we lost, which was really good. Emmy's going to head home now. We gave her some training today, so hopefully she'll do a little bit better next time. Um, but we're going to stay here for a little bit later and just work on a few of these things behind the scenes. We have like 3,000 perk points now, so I think I'm going to unlock an additional vet. And I'm also going to unlock vet rush. Uh, I think if I want to get another vet, I have to get another table. Can we afford that if I make this a little bit bigger? Our vet's already like on a tiny lot, so let me see. We'll head in and we'll to build a buy and we'll see. All right, so we've used a bunch of our household funds and I've extended the waiting area to have a few more seats. And we've also made this room a lot larger. I think I could probably set it out a little bit better. Like when we figure, oh gosh, there's like a window there. <laughs> I think we can probably set it out a little bit better um, next time. But, you know, I think it still is like kind of cute. I think we can probably fill this room a little bit and set it out a little bit nicer, maybe split it up slightly. But for now, I'm just going to leave it because I don't really have that much money left in my funds. And we do actually have to use these funds <laughs> to run the clinic and give treatment. So we'll just have to leave it as is for now. And I'm pretty sure I didn't fix up the roof. So that's going to be... Yeah, that's kind of a problem. All right, so I'm going to get Clover to head home now and get some nice sleep. And we'll probably come back here tomorrow and see how things run with the re-employees, which I'm really excited for. So we're back home now. Clover's about to head up to bed. I'm getting Posey to play with Buttercup for a little bit to see what I can get their friendship up so we can become companions. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so we're going to become companions now. And Buttercup has flea, so I'll have to give Posey a few of these vet treats. Yay! Posey and Buttercup are now companions. Okay, we can tick that off our list now. All right, Clover is up nice and early this morning. It's 6.30. I think we're going to head straight into the clinic again today. All right, here we are nice and early. Let's get open straight away. Change into uniform and let's manage our employees. And oh, we can hire someone new. Oh, we can add... Oh, we can hire Katori. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's hire Katori, but we have to be really careful that we don't share any news about Posey to her. So we'll just, we'll just add her, but we'll be very vague about everything. But we haven't seen her in a long time and we were always good friends. So hopefully this will give us a chance to actually make some new friends and catch up. Clover's going to come inside and do some lab work this morning. Hopefully these two just get started on their skills. All right, looks like Katori is heading over to treat the first cat of the day. We've actually got a bunch of people now, so I think Clover's going to have to come and greet a patient as well. Oh my god, why is this guy getting attacked by a cat? <laughs> All right, let's do, let's check the chart of this cat. We'll have to check its breathing and its heart. Emily, Emmy's finally decided three hours later to get to work. <laughs> she has so much training i don't know why she's so slack We're level eight of the vet skill yay i have to calm this patient down i don't know what's wrong with them uh i think maybe we figure it out all right let's give them some antifungal spray it didn't tell me though what was wrong with the cat that was weird okay we're over here now hi katori <laughs> well maybe we'll catch up with you after work okay we're gonna have to check if this cat's fur oh no he's died Who's died now? Oh my god, wait, what? Hello, Clover. Zoe here. I wanted to let you know that I just had Lila, a beautiful baby girl. Wait, but is it out? <laughs> wait, what? 
Is it our baby? Hot paws on the vet. Why would she be telling us? Oh my god, guys, my face right now is like shook. Wait, she has two kids? Oh my god, that one's with another. Oh, wait, that means. That means the one she was pregnant with <laughs> is our baby. Oh my god, we had. Guys, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. What? I can't. Wait, I can't believe. So these two had two kids together, but. Lila is actually not a Nahi's kid, it's ours. But I didn't check, I just assumed. Oh dear god, okay. <laughs> oh dear god, okay. Let's just finish our vet day and then we'll figure that whatever that is out. Okay, let's. Oh my god, give this pet some treatment. Alright, next pet. Guys, I'm seriously shook. Like, <laughs> what do we do? Do we, do we take the baby or do we just let Zoe have it? Like, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. No, it didn't say anything in the rules about her not being able to have her own kid. It just said you have to adopt and then next gen is like, you're adopted by your loving... Uh, yeah, you're adopted by like your loving home so you play with the one you adopted. Which is why I was like, oh, we'll just have one kid. And we didn't like then adopt a kid after Posey because our house was too small and we just wanted the one. But now she has her own kid, so... So what do we, what do we do? All right, I think this is our last patient of the day. Ooh, have people been buying our stuff? Oh, I think they have. That's so nice. All right, let's head in. Great job, thanks for paying us. Let's let's go see how an, um, Katori is doing after all of this time. We haven't actually seen her since, maybe we were like young adults or maybe like late teenagers, I think. But we're gonna say hi to her. We're gonna sort of catch up. I think she's a little bit curious what we're doing in Mount Komarebi and we're gonna tell her we live here now which is nice and we'll discuss some video gaming with her. She was always a good friend to us. We just sort of stopped being friends with her because of her brother <laughs> but she's actually um, Posey's aunt, Katori, if you guys haven't met her before. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm gonna close the vet. Um... We made some money today. That's good. And I'm gonna... We're feeling quite stressed out. So I think we're just gonna travel. Let's bring... Let's bring Posey along. And we're gonna head up to, like, the onsens. You know, celebrate Clover's birthday a little bit from yesterday. Day before, maybe. I don't know. We've <laughs> we haven't really done much. And also just to relax. Because, oh my god. Guys, I literally can't believe that. Okay, here we are. She really needs to stress... To take her stress levels down. So... We'll quickly, shake, we'll quickly take a shower and head into the onsen bathhouse. Why does... <sighs> Flower Bunny keeps calling me all day long. All right, they're just chilling in the onsen bathhouse. They're both having a little bit of a relaxed... Hello. <laughs> to sort some things out. Where are you going? Stop seeing what's happening. Yep, sit down. Um. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end this one here. We've spent a lot of time just at the vet today. It was good. a good fun to get her... What? Oh, it was really fun to get her um, skill up a little bit. We're out now on level eight of the vet skill and we're about halfway there. I think we actually do need to get to five stars for our vet clinic to consider it like career complete. So we'll need to work on that as well. Um, I, we also had Clover's birthday today. We didn't really celebrate it because we have had so many birthdays in the series and in my not so berry as well that I just kind of didn't feel like it. Plus with all the drama that's been going on, she probably just wanted to have like a low key birthday at home with Posey anyway, which was good. We saw Katori again. Do you guys think we should let Katori know about Posey or do you think we should maybe have a chat with Posey first and see what her thoughts are. Maybe she'd be interested in meeting her aunt, um, but it would just depend whether Katori would tell Mako, because we obviously like don't want to cause more drama than it's worth. And finally, guys, what the hell do we do about this baby? I didn't even know that Zoe was pregnant, and then we found out she was pregnant this episode. I literally just assumed it was Anahi's baby, because they had both... They had both woohooed, but... It's Clover's baby. We have a baby. Baby Lila. And that's so funny that it's like Lila and the next generation is like lavender. Like they're both purple colors, like li lilac. And oh my god, it just, 
do you think we should maybe take her do you guys think we should take the baby in and raise it ourselves or do you think we should leave it with um zoe and anahi or do you think we should maybe do like a shared custody please let me know what we should do about it um but for now i am going to leave this episode here if you did like it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe and leave some comments below my questions because i really need your help guys <laughs> but until next time i'll see you then bye